Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I did a poll on Instagram and if you don't follow me on Instagram you should. I will leave a link in the description to this video. But basically I did a poll and it was about making a hardcore series or like carrying on with my Road to Max. So basically what I decided to do is both. <laughs> it's going to be a, a hard task but I'm going to be AFKing on the main like doing fishing or something like that while I'm mainly playing on the hardcore. So I've got my main here, I'm, I just need to trade over a bond. But first I just wanted to go over something real quick, which was, I made this hardcore a very, very long time ago. Like, and I've just barely ever played it. But I've got some stuff, like I've got stats and I've done some quests. So all the boring stuff is like skipped out. But what I'm gonna be doing to begin with is Winter Toad or winter tot or however you say it but i'm just going to show you my stats and quests first so obviously i need to get members again that's why my main is stood right next to me but you know i've got some decent stats and i'm not gonna lie i've got some decent like items already in the bank like, i've already got rune skim so i don't need to do that grind and and there's just there's a lot of things that i've got like obviously i've got 58 mining you're probably thinking what the hell how have you got that but like you know i just spent afk time in the mother load mine while i was doing other stuff like i said i've had this count a long time so i'm going to trade over the bond and then i'll just go show you my bank real quick so here we are at the bank on my hardcore as you can see it's already 1.6 mil value but that doesn't really matter because i'm a hardcore but you know i've got some quest stuff here i've got a nature talisman i i have no idea when i got that like this nature and cosmic but I have them, so if I have to do nature spirit and I need a nature talisman, there it is. Unless I've already done it, I can't really remember. But you know, I've got a decent amount of runes here. I've got quite a few fish. I don't know why I've kept these burnt ones, but whatever, it looks kind of all right. So uh, there's my rune skim. I've got a graceful hood, my chronicle, a bit of a cash stack, nice few amount of herbs and potions, and. Um, then we come down here and we've got these nice gems, which obviously I got from the Motherlode Mine. Uh, all this ore I also got from the Motherlode Mine. I, I assume, no, I haven't I haven't done any of that because I haven't got any smithing levels yet. But I've got all this ore, which is a nice start to smithing. Uh, I think I got these logs from Winter Toad when I did it a long, long time ago. Um, got some bits and bobs here, some clue scrolls, which probably should do that and that but you know i'll keep them there for now because i'm gonna go do winter toad but yeah so i need to i need to put this gear on and get my ass over to winter toad. i don't actually know if i've got a games necklace i might be able to just teleport straight there or at least enchant something and get there or teleport i'll, I'll figure out a way to get there but i'm gonna be fishing on my main and i'm gonna be doing winter toad on here so i'm Playing both accounts at the same time, but primarily focusing on my hardcore. So before I go any further, let's just take you over the quests. So you can see these free to play quests that I've done and we keep scrolling down. You can see all the ones that are green, you know what I've done, like Monk's Frown. I thought that was Monkey Madness then. I don't even know what I've done myself to be honest, but yeah, we've done all these, blah 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 blah. And I have no idea where I got that nature talisman from, but it's whatever in it, so diaries haven't done any diaries yet so that should be interesting to get stuck into but yeah for now i'm just gonna go winter to i've already got 65 fire making so it's basically like a free pass to go there straight away um yeah and i'll be coming in with levels and drops more than likely so just real quick before i go to winter toad i just bought a house for 1k gold because you can obviously get construction xp but i'm pretty sure i need five construction in the first place so um uh i don't know how i'm going to do that but i'll figure it out and then i'll make my way to winter toad so i quickly just completed daddy's home mini quest and i've got all these lovely items very nice and um eight construction so now i'm going to head to winter toad so i made it to winter toad as you can see i've got lobsters because i'm a g i don't need cakes but i probably should use wines but you know it is what it is so I'll be back when I am 75 making, opening some crates. I'm, I'm just going to do it like five levels at a time and then open the crates, I guess. 
Okay, so quick stat update. I got to 75 making. I went from 48 to 49 wood cutting, 15 to 26 fletching, I think it was, and 8 to 10 construction. And I've got all the crates here, so I'm just going to open them all really. So let's withdraw five and just do five at a time. Obviously, I'm not particularly looking for anything it's just really nice supplies if i get the phoenix pet then uh, great but as it goes i'm just you know I've, I, <laughs> there's there's nothing in particular that i'm after it's just nice supplies so we're getting some nice stuff on the go here nice amount of ore that's my first broomer torch and we've got three left. I don't even know how many I had, but it's quite a few on it. So some nice seeds and, you know, it's a decent amount of coins. Best check that I didn't actually get the pet there and not notice. No, I didn't get the pet. Of course not. So um, next thing I'm going to do is move on to some quests, I think. This could be it, guys. I'm going into the wilderness to get my iron bars. This This could be the end. I've got to do the friggin quest, don't I? Right, where where even are they? Is it over here? Alright, there's one. Iron bar. I'm in a non-members world, so I should be fine. Alright, get the iron bar and let's teleport out of here. I ain't risking it, I ain't staying around. So you may be looking at my invent and thinking, what the fuck? That's a bit overkill. But I've got one pie here that I've made and I'm just gonna make sure that it cooks. Yes, it did. Okay, so all of this stuff doesn't really matter now, but I might as well keep it in my bank anyway. And here is a great quest to get out of the way because you go straight from one smithing all the way to 29. What a great start. Um, next, I'm going to be doing... What's it called? I forgot the name of the bloody quest is called. I'll start it. Elemental Workshop 1. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, that's That's going to get me more smithing and crafting XP, I think. I'm risking it again, guys. I'm going into the wildy. I've got to get some law rooms just because I'm sick of running everywhere. I'd rather be teleporting, so I've got to go to the mage bank. But this is... Okay, there's nobody there. Good, good, good. This is a lot scarier than the iron bars were. Just got to get to the mage bank. It's not far. It's just to the left of this. Come on, slash this web already. And run, 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 run. I see a white dot. I'm logging. No white dots. We should be good. I'm going to buy a few law runes because I'm just sick of not having any. Get me in there quick. That was horrible. I don't ever want to do that again. Right, so I bought 100 law runes, three cosmic runes just for like last minute enchants that I need to do. I mean, enchant, yeah, enchants. And then 10 nature runes for if I want to just high elk something when I'm actually 55 magic. But these law runes are going to go a long way, so it's worth actually spending the money for. So I'm just killing a few guards with fire strikes so I can get my magic to 45 so then I can do Camelot teleports. Uh, that was the whole point of me <laughs> going risking my life in the wilderness because I didn't have any lore runes and I needed 45 magic to get to and from Camelot. Um, I, I, I had to teleport out of there because I didn't have a needle and a thread and that is basically what I needed for elemental workshops. So... Yeah, I, I'm just killing guards to get 45 magic. So because taking me 45 magic would have taken literally 3 million years, I've just got 43 and I've realised I can go to Falador and buy Wizard Mind Bonds to plus 2 boost. So it won't be long before I'm 45 magic, but just for the sake of doing this one quest or two quests, because I'm going to do part 2 after, I'll just use Wizard Mind Bonds. Well, I'm an idiot. Turns out I actually need 20 crafting to do this quest, so I've almost done it, but there's just one bit that requires 20 craft crafting, so I am going to pick some flax and turn them into bowstrings until I've got 20 crafting. So, while I'm down here, I thought I might as well get Boots of Lightness, and if you don't know what they are, they're just 
4.5 uh, reduced weight boots like for free and it's just right here so there's Camelot and you come here you need a candle and a knife and you literally just climb down these ladders go to the left open this gate don't open that gate go down these stairs I mean so you need a slash weapon and a candle that's it and then in this corner here there is a web that you slash and your boots of lightness are just there so this is just going to be like easy for me because it's it's extra lightness for me so i can carry more and have more run energy basically there we go then just got 20 crafting it didn't really take that long uh, you know, just like 15 minutes or whatever, but no doubt I'll need these bowstrings at some point on my account anyway. So I'm just going to carry on with the quest now. There we go then. Quest complete. I'm sorry about that pinging. It's my other account when it stops doing something, but that quest is complete. And now I'm going to do number two because it's literally really easy and it's extra XP. There is Elemental Workshop number two then. It's a really easy quest that is literally like, as soon as you've done one, you might as well do number two because it takes 10 minutes. And um, it's also a medium diary task to make one of those, but you always make one when you do the quest. So, so at the start of the video, I had a beginner clue scroll in my bank and an easy one, and I've just done them both because otherwise it would have got on my nerves if they were just sitting there so let's see if we can get anything so absolutely nothing from the beginner and nothing again from the easy not that i expected anything you know the rubbish clue scrolls but we carry on going so i've come down here into the ham hideout primarily to get a rusty sword so i can complete the easy ardoom diary but as well as that, I need two sets of ham, um, full ham robes. So when I go to do Death to the Dorgashin, I, I can just start it and do it straight away, straight away, rather than having to come back. Uh, it's whatever. I've got three rusty swords. The fail rate is so bad with my uh, thieving level. So I'll just come back another time when I can be bothered to spend like two hours getting two sets. But I'm going to go and do the rd easy diary with these rusty swords now here we are then i've completed the easy rd diary probably one of the most useful teleports in the game as it teleports you right next to a fairy ring or not right next to but a fair distance but it's it's close anyway so um yeah easy rd diary done and i can't use this lamp yet can i no i need to be level 30 so i'll just put that on agility for now why not I know I should have put it on Herb Law, but I'm a long way off level 30 yet, so on to something else. Okay then, just completed Tower of Life minigame quest, and I don't know why I said that, it's just a normal quest, isn't it? While I'm here, I am going to do the bit of the medium arty diary where I kill the swordfish and chicken creation. The Grand Cree... The Grand Tree completed then, very nice and easy, and a nice amount of XP gain, some levels as well, and probably should start prepping for Monkey Madness now. I am actually going to end this episode here then. From the last clip you can see that I was saying I was getting ready for Monkey Madness. I will do that at some point in the next episode probably, if I get some more quests done and I feel comfortable but there's no rush but in this episode i've done quite a lot you know i've gone 100 total levels i've got a few quest points knocked out some ones that have helped me get some nice levels so um yeah i, I hope you like this hardcore iron man content and um stay tuned for more peace